on boys welcome everybody back to another video and another player review so finally Upamecano obviously being in the new team of the week getting an 86 rated in form he has been upgraded as once to watch anyway to 87 rated now coming in at six foot one he's got high medium work rates honestly looking at this front page six foot one's fine high medium work rates actually isn't ideal for a center back personally I want either medium high or low high honestly for a center back high medium is a little bit iffy uh, I mean high attacking and I only medium defensive. It is what it is though. Uh, but nonetheless, he's got 86 pace, but do not be fooled, lads. He goes to 99 sprint speed with a shadow applied. So he's absolutely rapid when it comes to sprint speed, but he's only got an acceleration of 74. That's why I feel like the shadow is very important. Getting him that plus 10, he goes to 84 acceleration and 99 sprint speed. So he'll go to around 91, 92 pace in game. His passing is actually not bad for a center back with 86 short passing and 81 long passing. Dribbling as well isn't too bad with 72 balance but most importantly under that dribbling stat for a center back you really just want to pay attention to the reactions he does have 84 reactions defensively he's unreal physical as well i mean his stamina 69 is it's fine for a center back center back stamina is not too much of an issue you really want to look at the strength and the aggression there he's got 93 strength and 88 aggression which is absolutely perfect but defensively with a shadow 93 interceptions 93 hitting accuracy with 89 awareness and he goes to 90 99 stand tackle with 99 slide tackles. That's coming in at 230,000 coins. Let's see, is this card worth it? And will he rank in the top three player review leaderboards? And speaking of a player review leaderboards, a nice segue. This is a new updated one. And first, the King, Terry Henry, in first with a 9.5. Second, rule breakers are Naltovic tied with David Ginola. So technically, um, I mean, David Ginola second and rule breakers are Naltovic third. Now, to decide the ratings out of 10, we do two things. We you know, rate it on how they perform and also rate it on their value. So 230,000 coins. Is he worth it? I've used his cards in the past. Um, I used his 82 at the beginning of the game. And I used his 84 ones to watch card as well. And I had the exact same experience with him. And that was he is amazing going into tackles. He's amazing defensively. But he doesn't feel as fast as his, his stats say. And that is due to the acceleration being 74. So let's have a look, boys. Um, I think his acceleration on his 86 rated was 72. So he's gotten a plus two on that. So let's see if it's a noticeable difference. And let's see if his 87 is a noticeable difference difference compared to his 86 now the team will be facing great <laughs> Johan Cruyff he's got Di Natal in there great back line Kante Zaha and Chong it's a good team let's get into it but no, as I've been saying, like I used his 82 rated for like 200 odd games at the beginning of the game. Um, I used his 84 in form for around 10 games, something like that. It was 84 ones to watch, I should say. And uh, as I said, I had the same experience with both of them, and that is that acceleration is a little bit of a letdown, and he doesn't feel like. In game, he's got 91 pace. He doesn't feel like he's got 91 pace, but it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Other than now, I've really got no complaints with him. I know he's like the go to guy this year. Upa Meccano absolutely crunches Cruyff. It is a free kick, but strong start. Upa Meccano actually wins that header. Not bad. That's lovely from Upa Meccano. It took me a minute to realize it was actually him, but that's lovely. Progress the pitch a little bit. See, his sprint speed's class. It's just that acceleration. Don't know what he's doing in this position. We'll start play that off. Come on, Luke Meccano. Please catch up to that. Oh, tries to get that. Hey, you know what? Actually worked out for us. I tried to get that slight tackle through. I was trying to go for a 50-50, not give away a penalty, but get the tackle through. And I think he kind of bumped the ball a little bit, but obviously it wasn't enough. My opponent still got through. Lucky enough, though, my opponent, or oh, well, my keeper did save it. Meccano, lovely. Boys, I'm not going to lie, 25 minutes in, he has not put a foot wrong. That's like the third tackle or third time he's won back position for me. Go on, Upa Meccano, get a hit onto that. Oh, not quite. Full to Neymar, it's a little bit jammy. Upa Meccano wins it back. Neymar, unlucky once again. Upa Meccano getting heavily involved here. Could we double our lead just before halftime? That will be absolutely perfect. Into the box, Yeda. Oh my god, this is jammy. Okay. It looks like... No, that's alright. It's a half. That was very, very jammy into it. Upa Meccano actually getting involved quite a bit. We just move this week, came a little bit. Um, but no, overall, man, brilliant half from Upa Meccano. Like, genuinely hasn't put a foot wrong. He's one position back three times. Going to tackles, he's absolutely perfect. And that's that aggression, the 93 strength. Obviously, his, his tackling, his defensive attributes. Um, six foot one, I feel like it's a good height. His, his actual work rates, I haven't noticed too much as of yet. As you can see, my opponents had 3.7 expected goals. That's down to 
for my keeper being unreal, and Upa Meccano as well coming in clutch. Now, I honestly, I have no complaints with him. That pace, I feel like that plus two acceleration from his 86, it is actually quite noticeable. I, I do notice a difference between it, and I, I mean, overall, this Upa Meccano, he's a lot better than his, I, I didn't use his 86 once to watch too much, but I did use his 84, and I mean, it's a plus three on his 84. He is massively better, but I feel like in comparison, that plus one, plus one from his 86 is actually going to be quite noticeable. No complaints with him. Obviously, you can still notice the 74 acceleration, um, but with a shadow, he goes to 84 acceleration anyway. So 99 sprint speed, 84 acceleration for a center back is, is no worries at all. He genuinely does feel quite fast this time, which I did. Meccano, please win that. Doesn't quite win it, but we do uh, get off sketch free. Back to Meccano. Let's pass that down. He's actually got good passing for a centre back as well. And I'll tell you this now, passing for a centre back is very underrated. Areas like that, as you guys just saw, you know, you're under pressure, Upa Meccano, you want to get the ball out and you're trying to clear it. For example, Dante, I don't think his passing is amazing and his passing does, you know, fuck me up a few times. <laughs> but uh, to say the least, man, Upa Meccano, his passing genuinely is underrated for a centre back. I think he's got 86 short passing and like was it 84 long passing. So uh, once again, really, really happy with that. Go on, Neymar. Put into the box, but jammy, very jammy. Can't quite get anything from it though. Go on, Upa. Lovely interception. Progress the pitch and just pass that down. Once again, absolutely fantastic. This card, boys. I'm loving the Super Meccano card. I can see why so much people have him in the squads and I face him. I literally see my opponents Upa Meccano more than I see my family at this rate, like all during foot champs and that, and I see why so much people were using his 86. He is absolutely unbelievable. Meccano. Once again, a good example of that passing under pressure. Oof, Meccano. Dare I say it? I'm going to say it. Once again, absolutely insane. And we'll, we'll keep progress. You know what? Screw it. It's Oof, Meccano time. He's still going A. It's worth an attempt, right? He's out of position now. I, I just felt like, you know, sending it. Oof, Meccano, once again... Absolutely fantastic. I feel like you guys are going to be hearing that a lot this video. Upa Meccano, once again, fantastic because he really is absolutely un insane. He's so good. Is that a penalty? We get a penalty as well. Hey, we're 2 0 up, 15 minutes left. It looks like we've sealed this win. Upa Meccano, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Love that. Upa Meccano, absolutely spectacular. No issues with him whatsoever. Like, he was absolutely insane. I know why so much people are using him now. Going over to the pros and cons slash the end screen, I mean this Upa Meccano card, he surprised me a lot, especially because with his 84, I definitely didn't hate his 84, but I just felt like he didn't feel as good on the ball or as fast as I did want him to. But for Wakim Stoll, have gone for a shadow, putting him to roughly 93, 94 pace in game and maxing that defending up. I've also gone for 96 sprint speed, absolutely unreal. Defending, I mean instead of just, you know, listing the, the good defensive stats one by one, we've just put it all down, his stand tackle, slide tackle, interceptions, it's all unreal. Physical, 93 strength especially, and also that 89 aggression is unreal. Now for the cons, we did put the 74 acceleration. And I mean, with a shadow, it is definitely not bad whatsoever, because with a shadow, 84 acceleration is obviously de definitely acceptable for a centre back. Um, as for the links as well, we have gone for player of the month, Alfonso Davies, that strong buy-in link, and as well, we have gone for Niakate, who I actually did a review on Niakate as well, if you guys want to check that out. And I really, really rated that card a lot. I said I actually preferred him to 86 Upa Meccano. But this 87 Upa Meccano, if you have this 87 Upa Meccano and the Akate as your two centre backs, no one is getting past you, alright? Absolutely unbelievable. So that is the two strong links I have gone for. And for the rating out of 10 lads, I mean, I'm going to give him a 9.2. I think he's absolutely ridiculous. Sure, 230,000 coins is not a cheap price to pay, especially for a centre back, but there's coins well spent. He is absolutely fantastic. Hope you guys did enjoy. Enjoy to your boy Davis and until next time, see you later.